Hey everybody, I'm Matt McCarthy, and welcome back to this week's Rugby Wrap-Up College Rugby Roundup. Week four of the D1A college rugby season had top teams fighting to hold on to their position in the rankings. In the Mid-South Conference, number five Navy had their match against number 17 Davenport. This was the first game of conference play for the two teams, and Navy started out strong with a 27-6 lead based on two tries from hooker Gordon Livermore and prop Clayton Hendrick Holmes. Davenport did push back in the second half, but came up short as Navy held on to win 32-22. The Big Ten also featured a ranked battle when number 18 Ohio State took on number 23 Indiana in the opening matchup of the second annual Battle for the Mitten. The Buckeyes took an 8-5 precarious lead into the locker room at halftime. The Hoosiers, however, were undeniable with a bombardment of scoring to start the second half and held on with a late try to defeat the ranked Buckeyes 27-20. But credit the Buckeyes for forfeiting a home match in the name of growing the game in college rugby. Kudos to you guys. This doesn't make Nate Ebner any happier. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, or gloom of night stays these couriers from their swift completion of their appointed rounds. Notice how that long-standing motto for the post office doesn't include lightning. And that's what happened in the second match of the second annual battle for the mitten between Michigan State University and Michigan. D1A Commissioner Kevin Battle had no other choice but to cancel the match because it's a 30-minute wait period after each lightning strike. And at 9.30, despite the patience of the stadium, the fans, and the network, 11 sports, we had to pull the plug. Regardless, it was a great event, and I can't wait for the next Battle for the Mitten because Terry, that works for the Lansing Lugnuts, who hosts the game, is going to send me a Noah Syndergaard Lansing Lugnuts bobblehead. Next up, the Liberty Conference had their share of action with number 19 Bruce McLean's Iona taking on Fordham. And Iona walloped Fordham 79-10. to My nieces, Syracuse, squeezed the pulp out of my University of Buffalo Bulls In all seriousness, no, Syracuse remains undefeated after the impressive 41-10 win. But hey, I said to my niece, the sun don't shine on the same dog's ass every day. Thank you to Catfish Hunter for that quote. We have some intriguing matchups to look forward to with Wisconsin looking to stay undefeated against Illinois, who has been tough so far. Number 22, Colorado State hosts number 10, BYU, Friday night. Lastly, but not least, the rugby wrap-up match of the week is number 12, St. Bonaventure, hosting number 8, Penn State. If Penn State can win, they will have a 3-0 conference record. That would create an interesting showdown the following week against Cutstown. And while I love what Tui Osborne and co. are doing in Olean for the Bonnies, I think that Penn State and the shadow of Mike Petrie are going to be too much in an exciting squeaker of a match. And on that note, I'm Matt McCarthy with your Rugby Wrap-Up College Rugby Roundup.